This is the unabridged audio narration of The Sea Witch, Volume 1, Meeting the Young Master. Written and illustrated by Cara Field, a.k.a. Lady Flame. Published online from 26th of August 2018 on Web Novel and Tapas. This is a tale of intrigue set in a fantasy world with a romance subplot, a slow burn one I'm afraid, I'm very fond of Ust. You will find swearing, fighting and eventually some kissing and naughty stuff will happen, but nothing that is likely to bother an older teen, they've probably seen worse on TV anyway. Hopefully this story is something for everyone and is aimed at both a male and female audience. However, as mentioned before, it is not really suitable for anyone under 16. Cover illustration, Lavender Jade on the deck of the Sea Witch at dusk. Introduction, who am I? How many times over the years as I was growing up, did I look in the mirror and think, who is Lavender Jade? If a member of the public asked me that question, then I would reply, I am the protector of the Sea Witch, the flagship vessel of the Jade Crusaders Guild. However, if I'm being brutally honest, then I would give you a totally different answer. I am a woman with a stupid name, which really doesn't suit me. I may be pretty enough, but I'm a complete and utter tomboy who relies mostly on my skill with a blade and pistol to get by in life when every other flash bastard is throwing magic around. To make matters worse, I have no obvious, discernible talent for magic. In this world where having powerful magic is essential to rank up in caste. That's not to say that I don't have magic. I do. Unfortunately, it's not the kind that you can mention in polite society. In fact, the only people who would boast about my kind of magic are thieves and assassins, neither of which are welcomed in said polite society, unless it's behind closed doors where no one can see and it can remain a dirty little secret, a means to destroy your business competitors or remove an unfortunate air that's in the way of your social mobility. Finally, the clincher is that I'm a half-elf, which generally means that my ears are a little too pointy for most humans and not freaking pointy enough for those snobbish elves. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have a temper and I swear like a sailor too. This is what happens when your elven beauty mother died before her time and you are brought up by rough sailors and even rougher mercenaries. So my romantic prospects are pretty much zero, zilch, zip, totally nada. So why the hell have I suddenly become so popular? Okay, so... Not all of the men suddenly chasing after me are interested in romance. In fact, I'm pretty sure that most of them are just trying to kill me. But what is this precious gem of my mother's that they seem to be looking for? I always thought her legacy to me was the sea witch. So won't you come join me on the high seas as I set sail on a journey of shadows and intrigue? stolen gems and corrupted gods and you never know I might even get lucky and get a boyfriend in between assassination attempts end of introduction and on to the extras today's extras are going to be the layout of the sea witch the ship was originally the spoils of the centenary war and given to Lavender's father, Rufus Jade, as a reward for his war contributions. He renamed it, 
the sea witch and gave it to Lavinia L'Oreal as a wedding gift and it became the foundation that the G Crusaders Guild was built on. The ship's wards are considered to be Lavinia's greatest work of magic and took almost a decade to complete. When Lavinia realised that she was slowly dying, she made Lavender the key to most of her wards and stated that she was the next protector of the Sea Witch. As such, Lavender sailed with her mother from a very early age and was personally taught the art of wards by her mother. Lavinia's health started to seriously decline when Lavender was eight and Lavinia called in her master, Elgaron Eloise, to take over her daughter's magical tuition. He was the one who encouraged Lavender to explore her natural element without guilt and taught her most of her martial arts, some of which he personally tailored to her unique personal skills. The Sea Witch is a three-masted galleon and uh, the main deck has a cargo access hatch for of the mainmast and uh, in the bow it has access to the forecastle which is the warrant officers quarters which is a dorm with bunk beds and glass windows above the forecastle is the forecastle deck and at the very front of the uh, ship is the bow deck to the stern of the main deck we have access to the commissioned officers quarters and the great cabin and captain's mess uh, above which we can find the quarter deck which has the wheel and access to the captain's navigation room above the navigation room is the poop deck Below decks we have uh, the gun deck which has further cargo access down into the hold. At the bow end of the gun deck is uh, the food and water storages and uh, the capstan winch is uh, also available on this deck for removing the cargo, winching the cargo and to the rear of the capstan winch is the crew quarters which are two dorms, one each side of corridor which have hammocks and bed rolls and uh, the only uh, windows in the crew quarters are the gun hatches so it can get quite hot and then in the stern is the infirmary and the galley mess for the general crew the cargo hold has uh, ship stores at the bow and uh, spare sails and rigging and the magazine and also the brig at the stern. That ends the uh, basic layout of the sailing vessel the Sea Witch on which our uh, story is mostly set and uh, you can read further on webnovel.com or tapas.io You can also read a prequel story to the Sea Witch called the Empire Mage Academy which is uh, set in Lavinia and Leonora's youth when they first met at college Thank you for listening today and I hope you will uh, carry on and listen to the rest of the story as it is uh, published.